focusing instead on trying to figure out who's the jailer of these two individuals. Now, the old man then asks Boyd if he's from town. And Boyd tells him, yeah, you know, I'm from town. And the trap man begins talking about how he thought that the town was the worst part. That and the guy asks Boyd if he went through a tree and Boyd lets him know like, hey, you know, I went, I went through a tree. That's how I got hit. The old man seems to know some things and starts dropping some knowledge about the faraway trees. He tells Boyd that when you enter a faraway tree that you enter into the tree from one place and come out someplace else entirely. We knew that part. What we didn't know is when he mentions that sometimes you get stuck and sometimes you end up trapped. And if you get trapped, that's when they get you. Now, this is super interesting because Boyd was initially trapped when he went through the faraway tree. We don't know exactly how the trees work either, but we do know that one tree doesn't have a predetermined destination for everyone who goes through it. Victor first introduced us to the trees in season one by putting a rock or an apple in a tree and the object fell from the sky. So good thing he didn't try to demonstrate it by going into the tree himself. There's no clear indication exactly how the trees work or where they're gonna send you and it's unclear if that's by design. Something that's also interesting is that Victor also pointed out that the trees were moving, as if even where you find them might not be the same place each time. Now, I have a theory that what we're watching and from is some sort of game or experiment between two sides. Think of it like heaven versus hell or God versus Satan scenario, good versus evil, where two sides are observing people with free will in order to see what choices they make. I think there are rules that they're supposed to be followed and observed in this game, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, where there are power ups and wild cards, and the faraway trees might be an example of a wild card. They can send you someplace good or they can send you someplace bad, but there's no real way to tell where and how they're gonna work. I'm gonna discuss more of that later, but for now, let's get back to this episode. The old